Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh-oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Shabby. Good morning. It's July 8th. It's Monday again. Start of the work week for all of us. July 8th, 2019. Okay, today we're going to hear we're going to hear in the gospels uh, at mass again about the uh, stories of miracles. Our Lord performing some miracles. So let's read this from St. Matthew chapter 9 verses 18 to 26. While Jesus was speaking, <coughs> excuse me, I have a little thing on my throat. <clears throat> While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died. But come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Imagine that. Jesus rose and followed him. And so did his disciples. A woman, so on the way to that official's home, a woman suffering hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched the tassel of his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak. I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, you know, people who are already mourning the death of the child, <clears throat> he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and they ridiculed him. They laughed at him. They scorned him and said, ah, Look at you. Who do you think you are? When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand. And the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. So for a few days now, since last week, we have been hearing miracles of our Lord, right? That he was performing uh, all over the place as he was doing, going about doing his ministry. And we hear about stories of faith from the lack of faith of the apostles when they were in the boat to the doubting Thomas, right? And now, now it's the reverse. Now we are hearing stories of people who had faith in what that faith did for them. See? Could you imagine the expressions <coughs> of faith of these people? The official who must have been a, a Roman official is not even a Christian, not even a Jew, <coughs> right? Who approached Jesus kneeling down. She's knelt down before him. Look at that gesture of humility. The humility of a Roman official hmm, who, you know, had to, had to swallow his pride. Had to <coughs> swallow his pride so that he can kneel down before Jesus and beg him for his daughter's life. And ask him, she's dead. But I know if you come and touch her, she will live again. Now she was begging, please, please do this for my daughter. So he believed he trusted. He knew. Based on what he has been hearing about Jesus Christ. He knew Jesus was the solution. That was faith. For somebody who's not even a Christian. For somebody who wasn't even a Jew. That was faith. And Jesus praised that faith. Now that woman. That woman who had been sick for 12 years. And as an expression of faith, what did she say? If only I can touch the tassel of his cloak, I am going to get cured. I'm sure I'm going to get cured. If I can even just as much as touch the tassel of his cloak, I know I will get cured. And our Lord did for these people the favors that they had asked for. He cured the sick girl, I mean, raised the dead. Right? Raised the sick girl from the dead, or the dead girl from the dead, and cured the sick woman of her illness for 12 years. The hemorrhage has been suffering for 12 years. 
So what does this teach us? What does this gospel for today, these two stories, teach us? Faith helps us trust God and trust that God can do anything for us that we might ask for. As long as it's for our own good and as long as it's for the good of our soul. See? God is more than ready to come to our aid to help us for everything that we need. So we have to ask ourselves, do we have issues for which we might think are insurmountable, we might think are almost impossible to do, or we might think are you know, beyond our capacities to overcome? Do we have anything like that? Do we have virtues we want to acquire and put into practice, but we find it so difficult? Do we have some vices or sinful tendencies that we want to get rid of, but it's so hard to get rid of them? Do we have certain habits that we want to develop in us, but we find so tough to do? Well, maybe this is the time to exercise faith in Jesus Christ. This is the time to express that faith that Jesus can help us, that God can do anything, that God can come to our aid and help us resolve these issues. Okay? This is what faith is all about. This is the expression of faith and real faith put into action. Okay? If we put all of our trust in God, in God's providence, and in God's strength. So, we have to have faith. We have to pray just like this official and this woman prayed. Right? To them, the, that kneeling down and that begging of Jesus, please come. My daughter is dead, but if you if you come, I know she's going to get she's going to get uh, she's going to live. Okay? Or if only I can touch the tassel in, uh, of of his cloak. These are uh, the the expressions of prayer of hope okay? that these people have expressed here as part of their faith. So we can do the same. We can run to Jesus. We can run to our Lord, full of faith and prayerfully begging and asking our Lord with humility, like that soldier, like that official, with humility, with humility. Even that woman was very humble, right? Because she didn't dare to come in front of Jesus and say, hey, cure me. No, she was very shy and she was just trying to reach out for that tassel because she said, oh, that's all I need. Just touch the tassel and I'm going to get cured. So you see how both of these people their first instinct is to be humble. See? The attitude of humility, the virtue of humility, that when you are begging and asking for a favor, you cannot be cocky. You cannot behave like you are somebody. Right? No. Before God, we are nothing. We are nothing. And we have to have the humility to ask our Lord for all the help we need. Whether it be for any intention whatsoever, right? The healing of our soul, a virtue we want to acquire, a habit we want to get rid of, a vice that we need to overcome, or a sickness that we want to get cured from, or, or a situation at work for those of you working, or uh, a situation with a family member, or with uh, or your neighbors, or whatever it is that you need help in. Resort to prayer, but with faith, with humility. Okay? With faith and with humility that God can help you overcome whatever issues there are that you're confronting. But let us also, let us also be mindful of accepting the will of God. Okay? Of course, we will have faith that God is going to come to our aid, but we have to be ready to receive an answer that we might not like. Right? That is part of having faith. That is part of having faith. If God decides that, okay, this thing you're asking for, this issue you're trying to overcome, or this thing you want to acquire is not good for you, and the answer to our prayer is no, 
We have to be willing to accept that and to realize God knows better. God knows better. So if God doesn't grant that prayer or that request, that shouldn't mean we should lose faith. In fact, that should only mean we should have more faith in the fact that God is taking care of us. Right? We should all the more assert the faith in the providence of God. That even if we receive a no from the favors we ask of God, we know deep in our hearts as a consequence of our faith that that is part of His providence. That that no is part of His providence. But there's one thing I'm sure of. One thing I'm sure of that God is not going to say no to. And what is that? If you pray and hope to be better. Right? If you pray and hope and try your best to acquire virtue, avoid sin and be better and try to become saints, I am pretty sure God will always say yes to that kind of a prayer, to that kind of a hope. And so, if there is anything that we need to ask for and pray for, it all better be under the umbrella of becoming better, acquiring virtue, stamping out vice, and trying to become saints. To that prayer, God will always say yes. Okay? And we have to have faith. We cannot despair about our own weaknesses, about our own shortcomings. We should not despair. We should hope that God is going to help us through whatever challenges and difficulties we are undergoing. Okay? And that is faith. Okay, that's it for us, folks. Hi, Eva. Will you say goodbye, Eva? There. Say good morning. Good morning, Eva. Hi. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, say hi. Say hi to everybody. And we are going off to Mass. There, can you see yourself? Okay. Have a good day, everybody. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.